Hello! In this video, we're going to talk about superposition. We're going to use superposition to solve uh, two examples. Let's consider we have the circuit. Uh, we now have two sources. And what we're going to do in order to use superposition is to find currents and voltages in the circuit uh, by considering one source at a time. And at the end, we're going to combine all the contributions for e from every source in order to get our final answer, the real current, the real voltage in the circuit. So let's say we're interested here in finding the current flowing through the 30 ohm resistor and the current flowing through the 40 ohm resistor. And then we're going to find the voltages. So I30 is this current over here. So we have I30 flowing there. And I40 is this one. Now I am just guessing the direction. I really don't know the direction of the current. But I am assuming that is the direction of those currents. If we get negative numbers, well, we just need to flip the, the direction. So we're going to solve this problem using superposition. So we start, let's skip the 20 volt source. So we're going to start computing uh, the contribution of the 20 volt source to the current flowing through 40 and the current flowing through 30. So what we do is basically we remove all the other sources. We replace voltage sources with short circuits and current sources with open circuits. So in this case we redraw the circuit, we keep the 20 volt source, but we're going to remove the 30 volt source and we do that by placing a short circuit. So now we have a circuit with just one source and resistors. In this case it's easier to redraw the circuit. And what we have here is the 20 volt source and then we have 40 in 5 ohms. Those two resistors are in parallel. There we have the terminal of 40 connected to the other terminal of 50 so we have sorry 5 so we have 5 and 40 in parallel and here we have 30 30 in parallel with a short circuit short circuit is just a wire with a resistance of 0 ohms so we basically have the circuit like that and the currents we're looking for are this one's I40 and I'm gonna call this one I40 prime and I'm gonna call I30 I30 prime because those are the currents that those are the contribution of the 20 volt source to those currents and we're gonna find them now here we have the case for the 30 ohm resistor it is in parallel with a short circuit so there will be all the current flowing from the 20 volt source is going to flow through the short circuit and not through the 30 ohm resistor when we have this situation all the current flows through the short circuit so there's no current circulating through 30 so therefore we have i30 prime equals zero so the contribution of the 20 volt source to the current flowing through 30 is zero amps. Now we can simplify the circuit a little bit more because now we have 30 in parallel with zero and that is just zero so we can just replace 30 in the short circuit with just the short circuit and at the end we only have two resistors 40 and 5 in parallel and they are connected to the source to the 20 volt source and the current I40 prime that is the current flowing through 40 due to the 20 volt source it's flowing there so 20 and 5 are connected in parallel with the source so the voltage drop across 40 is 20 so we can apply ohms law there to find the current and we get 0.5 amps so 0.5 amps is the contribution of the 20 volt source to the 40 ohm resistor so it's 0 for 30 and 0.5 amps for the 40 ohm resistor now we have to do exactly the same thing but now considering the other source the 30 volt source
Okay, so what we do is we keep the 30 volt source in the circuit and now we get rid of the 20 volt source by replacing it with a short circuit. So we have all the circuit just like before. Now we have here the 30 volt source and we replace the 20 volt source that is there with a short circuit. So we place the, the short circuit there and now we have to find the currents that I'm going to call I30 prime prime and I40 prime prime. So those two currents are the, the contribution of the 30 volt source to the current flowing through 30 and the current flowing through 40. Now we have to redraw the circuit. In this case, the three resistors are in parallel with the source. So we can we can just redraw the circuit to, so we can see that more clearly. So we have the 5 ohm resistor and the 40 ohm resistor and the 30 ohm resistor connected in parallel with the source 30 volt source. We can see this from the original circuit because the two terminals of every resistor is connected to the two terminals of the source. So we have here the source and here we have 30 connected to the source. Then we have 40 connected between the positive and negative. 40 connected between the positive and connected between the negative of the source. And 5 connected between the negative there and the other terminal is connected to the positive. So the three of them are in parallel. And the volts across them is 3 volts. So we again we can just apply Ohm's law to find the, the currents, in this case 30 volts divided by 40 to get I40 prime prime, and we get 0.75 ohms. We can do the same for the 30 ohm resistor. What we have here is I30 prime prime. It's just 30 ohms, uh, 30 volts divided by 30 ohms. So we get one amp. Now the final step is we have to combine the results we got from every source. So the real current flowing through 40 is going to be the contribution of the 20 volt source plus the contribution of the 30 volt source I40 prime plus I40 prime prime. In this case that is 1.25 amps. And we do the same for I30 the real current flowing through 30 is the contribution of the 20 volt source plus the contribution of the 30 volt source. In this case, that is just one amp. So those are the real currents in the circuit due to both sources. Now we're looking for the voltage across 30, and that's easy because we can apply this ohms law 30 ohms times I30. That is just 30 volts, that's the magnitude. Now, in order to find the polarity, we have to go back to the original circuit and take a look at the direction of the current. We have one amp flowing upwards through 30, so this terminal is positive and the other terminal is negative, so that's the polarity of the voltage across 30. And now for 40, V40 is going to be 40 ohms times I40, and that is 50 volts. That's the magnitude. And to define the polarity, we have to go back to the renal circuit and take a look at the direction of the current. The current is flowing from left to right. So it's entering that, that terminal that's positive, and it's leaving the other one that's negative. And we got positive current, so we were right about the direction of the current that we defined at the beginning. Now, in this second example, we have three sources, two voltage sources and one one current source. So we have the 32 volts, 20 volts and 2 amps and we want to find the current flowing here, Ix, that's the current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor. And we have three sources. We are going to apply superposition to find the current Ix. 
So we start with any source. In this case, let's let's choose the 20 volt source. So what we have done here is we have replaced the current source with an open circuit and the voltage source with a short circuit. So this is the circuit that we get. And this is the current we're looking for, IX prime. That's the contribution of the 20 volt source to the current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor. This 13 ohm resistor is disconnected from the circuit, so it's basically not doing anything, so we can just remove it. There's no current flowing through it, so it's not affecting the circuit. Now we have this 7 and 3. We can say we can combine them because let's say they are in series. Well they are in series, but and we can combine them to get one, so we get 10 ohms. So let's let's redraw the circuit now with the equivalent. So we have everything the same, but now we have here the 10 ohm resistor that we got by adding 7 and, and 3. But the situation we have here is the 10 ohm resistor, it's in parallel with the short circuit. So we have 10 ohm resistor in parallel with 0, so the equivalent is 0. That basically means we can't ignore the 10 ohm resistor. There's no current flowing through it. All the current is going to flow through the short circuit because they are in parallel. So we basically have just one loop. A 20 volt source, two resistors in series, one loop, and we can easily find IX prime just by dividing 20 between 8 and 7. In this case we get 1.33 amps. That's the contribution of the 20 volt source to the current IX. So what we did is we combined 7 and 3, 10 was in parallel with the short circuit, we can ignore 10, so we basically have just one loop and we get the current by applying ohms. Now we can do the same with the um, 32 volt source. So we redraw the circuit again. But now we're going to replace the current source with a short circuit, just like before, and the 20 volt source with a short circuit. So here we have the short circuit, well, here we have the short circuit here instead of the uh, 20 volt source. And here we have the 32 volt source. Okay. And here we have IX, and now this IX is going to be prime prime. So here we have again the open circuit here instead of the 2 volt source, 2 amp source, and then the short circuit instead of the 20 volt source. Just like before, this 30 ohm resistor is disconnected from the circuit, there is no current flowing through it. We can just remove it. And now we can say we have 8 and 7 in series. So let's, let's combine those two to get one resistor with 15 ohm. So we have here 15 ohm that we got from by adding 8 and 7. We have 3 there, 7 there, and the 32 volt source here in the IX prime prime is flowing there. So now we have a similar situation just like before. The, the problem we have here is all the current generated by this source, let's say I, is going to reach this node, but that current, all of it, is going to flow through the short circuit. Nothing is going to flow through the 15 ohm resistor because the resistor the 50 ohm resistor, it's in parallel with the short circuit. So all the current is going to flow through the short circuit to go back to the source. Nothing is going to flow through the 50 ohm resistor. So in this case, we can just say immediately that the current IX prime prime is just zero. So the 32 volt source doesn't really make a contribution to the current IX. Finally, the third source, and that's the 2 amp source. So what we have done here is we have removed the two voltage sources with a short circuit. And now we want to find the X 
triple prime. That's the contribution of the two amp source to the current IX. So again, we have seven and three in series, but the result is going to be in parallel with a short tree, but just like in the first case. So the whole thing is going to be zero. So we can just ignore the seven and the three on resistor because all the current is going to flow through the short circuit anyway. So we can redraw the circuit again. Eight, seven. And now source providing two amps and the 13 amp resistor there. And IX prime, prime, prime is there. So we basically have eight and seven in parallel and the total current is going to be 2 amps, so part of it is going to flow through 8 and the rest is going to flow through 7. So there are many ways you guys can calculate the current flowing through 8, because that's the current we're looking for. But for simplicity, let's say we can apply here the current divider principle between 8 and 7 with a total current of 2 amps. So we have 2 amps multiplied by the other resistor 7 and divide by the summation of the 2. And again, we can do this because 7 and 8 are in parallel. And we get 0.93 amps. So we have 0.93 amps flowing through 8. And then the rest, 1.07, flowing through the 7 amp resistor. But in this case, Ix triple prime is just I8. Okay, so now we have calculated all the currents, for, um, all the contribution of. of of the currents from every source and the final step is to add them up ix prime plus ix prime prime plus ix triple prime and at the end we get 2.26 amps that number is the real current flowing in the original circuit that's the current due to the three sources 2.26 amps 